Well, I'm back to my Victoria 2 United Kingdom New Era mod playthroughs. It's 2013 after I finally broke up Romania in the last episode, which took so long. And I actually had to go off screen and fix my core deal I had with Russia some time ago where I removed all their cores from Ukraine and Poland because apparently they still had cores somehow and they went to war when I tried to film this just a little bit earlier, so I had to fix that really quickly. So, yeah, that was very annoying. As I found too off screen that this series... This Ahmad ends on the last day of 2019. So I got over s almost seven years still to go for before I finally over with. And in this episode, I'm going to try and get that done. I want to finally get this series over with. Yeah, I'm going to take the colonies from um, Romania, even though I already did, because I found out off screen. When I broke them up, those were the stuff that was left behind that we didn't finish off. Oh my god, just get on the damn boat. Oh my gosh. I might just take you all back for right now. I'm not even making any... Wow, well, I'm, I'm getting reparations and I'm still not even making enough money. Who's this? Transylvania. Okay, fine. We'll give you an alliance offer. Okay, so now we're going to go up here and around... Oof. Oh my goodness! Whoa! The European Union formed! Oh my goodness! <laughs> they got cores on me too! Of course, they're gonna be stupid to attack me. Oh my god, I can't believe the- Wait, why can't I attack the EU? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. The European Union finally forms this game as they annexed all of France except their capital, France! Oh no! You got fucked up. Oh my gosh. Poor France. Hmm. Very curious to see if the EU is going to spread around in these last few years of the game. Now I'm very, very curious. I guess, just, just wow. France really got obliterated in this game. And I thought what we did, and I thought when we destroyed our colony... I mean, our colonial empire earlier on in the series, that was OP. This is me met metropolitan France that's dead now. Oh my gosh. All right, we got another general election going on. Ah, oh, so many traps. But there we go. Oh my gosh. Get on the boat. Uh, Alright, get over here now. Like I said, I want to finish this series. It's almost over with. Let's just get it done and over with. Northern Ypres. I believe that would be near like Albanian Greece. Over here. And now Sweden wants an alliance. We'll accept. Alright, get on here. Over here. Here. Still got a few more stacks left. Yeah, I want to become hardcore laissez fair, but being very difficult to do that.
There we go. Troops are finally done transporting. Oh man, that was a lot of work. Alright, now we're gonna go back to work, build up my army. That was irregular, so that's useless. Gonna get Poland, man, or our ally. After all the work we've done to hit, protect them in Ukraine, we're not gonna piss them off. All right, there we go. Finally making money again. All right, I might start lowering the tariff again. Fucking Germany again, messing with me. Oh no, not again. India sides with them. They're my, they're my, they're still my freaking um. Oh, good for me. Well, I'd rather not have to deal with all that crap again. So I guess I'll sort support Japan. Just fuck Russia. There we go. Interesting to know that my sub-state. Wait, are they my puppets still? Okay, they're no longer my puppet, unfortunately. That's a real big blow to my army. Hell, they're, they're weak. They're stronger than us now, believe it or not. So, the powerful country of the game are America, India, and now me. I'm third place. And who beats me in industry school? Oh, Germany. Oh, my gosh. Ah, Germany even beats me now. And it's historical since Germany did beat the UK later on industry. They became the number one industrialized country in Europe. God, their borders look so weird. I wonder if there's anything about forming Europe. I mean, I'm the EU. And, of course, failed again. I'm part of NATO? I don't even remember that. I don't see anything about joining the EU. There's your skepticism, but I'm not in the EU, I guess. Yeah, there we go. At least the game's going back up to normal speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and one, two. Hey, well, how are you? Well, how are you? And of course, even if there was an option to join the EU, I wouldn't be surprised if it would be like, Ugh, you, you game over, buddy, or something like that. There seriously has to be a, a way to um, form the EU. Or join it. Try to keep peace in Europe, I mean, in the world, or at least in Europe. Oh my god. No! No! No, no, no. We're not dealing with this crap. Ireland, you're not getting independent. No, no, and no. You will alter. And of course. 
Well, I guess it's a good thing that I fully built up my army. I mean, start funding my army. But of course, are they going to survive is the question. Oh my gosh. And of course, here they go invading over there now. Lovely. Now I gotta get more tropes. Dealing with a freaking Irish rebellion. Now I gotta deal with fighting Germany. Those are dicks. Big fat dicks. Yeah, get out of here. And for that, we're now gonna invade Germany itself. And we're gonna take some casualties, okay? Get over there, pronto. They're actually giving us quite a big walloping, unfortunately. Ah! We're still having problems. Get over there now. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to transport you guys over. It's always got to be some annoying little pest that has to bug me. Kill them! We are still doing around. Kill them! The hell? Where'd they go to? I ain't telling them to go over there. What the fuck? I never told you to go over there. What the fuck? All right, we're now in 2015, as we're still dealing with stupid rebels. Oh my dear God, they are invading the hell out of Poland. And they're somehow winning because of that. Oh my gosh. They're crushing the Netherlands, they're crushing Poland, they're crushing um, Estonia. No, that's, that's Latvia, Lithuania. And it looks like they, nope, yeah, they knocked Lithuania out of the war. It looks like they're invading Ukraine. I unpaused. We need more men. I'm sure we're probably still losing the war because Germany's killing everyone else. They put two million troops up there! What the fuck? They put two million troops in that battle! Oh my goodness! What is this? Two million troops they just put in! Dude! Overkill! That is way too much! Oh my goodness! And we're taking more casualties! I don't like it! I don't like this! We need more men now to hold them off! Oh my dear god, so many troops! Freaking two million! 
What is this? Get your butts down there. We need more men. Three million. Get over here. Get your butts on that boat pronto. We have troops that need to get over more. Faster. Get over there. Now we're evenizing it. Okay, we're no longer losing as badly. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, yeah, we're beating the crap out of them right there. Uh, now we're taking more casualties, looks like. Ah, get over there. Get over there. Three million now! Oh my god, they put three million troops in! Bruh! They just keep throwing them in there. They're throwing everything they have. The freaking Battle of Kiel. It's like Stalingrad level. This might even be bigger than that. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine how destroyed Kiel must be with millions and millions of troops in there. And then we're going to put even more troops in there. <laughs> That's a death trap! Oh my gosh! You want war, Germany? You got it! I will throw all these 7 million troops if I have to in that area. Get your butt in there. Four million troops and there's three million. Yeah, I'm taking some of your casualties. Ah, their organization's going up. Oh my god, they put more troops in! Oh my gosh. They won't give up. Oh my god, they're at war with Brit Brittany. Yep. Um, the e European Union is forcibly trying to form an EU and take all their territory over. Because the EU's got territory all over Europe. Even me. But they're not going to be able to do that. They got stuff in Russia too, randomly. Oh my gosh. No. I ain't giving you shit. You may be winning, but... I ain't giving that up. You're only winning because you clobbered my allies. You didn't clobber me yet, so the answer is no. You're getting nothing from me. Only I can um not peace out. You gotta always peace out, though. Get over there. Well, they've kicked Poland, Ukraine out. Lithuania. Still fighting in the Netherlands. It's We're going to be fighting this through Kiel to the end. Freaking 9 million troops in Kiel. Think about that, guys. 9 million troops in Kiel. This is crazy. Fighting... Through the straight and through the straight. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, their organization. I, j I don't even think this war is going to be ending anytime soon. Like, I don't even, not, not the war. I don't think that battle is going to end anytime soon. But I'm going to have to start thinking of an idea. First, we're going to send troops over here. And we got plenty of troops to do my plan. Now it looks like it's just me and Germany fighting alone. Well, me and my allies that they can't reach. We're 
We'll show you who you're messing with, Germany. We're gonna do this instead. You mess with the wrong superpower. Who has never ending resources. We're in 2016. We got four years effectively left. You want war, Germany? You're gonna get it. Just like Romania had to deal with it. I get more troops. here we're gonna wait before I do my strike oh my god my morale's going down theirs is still going up or staying stable oh my gosh Now they will get more troops. Freaking fighting to the death over here. Plan is once we take over this territory, we're going to just storm right into that territory south of Kiel and have it completely blockaded. That way they can't reinforce. And maybe then I could pull off the victory. But you got to hurry up and take over that territory first. All right, they're retreating. Well, I thought they were retreating, but now they're moving. You made a glorious, fatal mistake, Jeremy. I will, I will take you down to zero manpower to win this war. You messed with the wrong superpower, Jeremy. <laughs> We've been beating the crap out of you for this entire series. You need to just give up and accept the fact you're never going to beat us ever. At least my morale went back up, I think. Theirs is going down a little bit. Alright. Now. Storm. I don't care about that territory ta being taken over. I do not care at all. That's the least of my concerns. I just want this taken over. Alright, we got that. But now we're going to need more troops over there. Cause now we got another big gigantic battle brewing. Here we go. No, not that. Fine, have your eight-day work week. As we're still fighting to the death right now. As... One, get over here. Why can't you merge? What? Excuse me for not knowing that you had tr troops over there. My god. Actually, just to be safe, because I don't know if they can go over there, I'm going to take over that too really quickly. As we are still fighting to the death. No! Over here. No! Down. Yeah, right there. Jeez. Good God, it is still a fight to the death down there. There. Hopefully, that will be enough to stop them. Out here. 
as somehow the EU is losing their war against Brittany. Like, how? I would have easily won that. Still researching tech from the 1980s. Ukraine wants to re-ally me. I can only imagine how the troops feel going through the Battle of Kiel. How, like, it might be building... It might be just fighting everywhere. Like, there's nowhere to rest everywhere. With 9 million troops in this area, it's just fight to the absolute death to get even five room to sleep. As we're still fighting to the brink. Uh, we're taking more losses, though, than they are, which is not good. Dude, I've lost like 10,000 troops already. They haven't even lost a single troop yet, looks like. Uh, the only benefit is, since they haven't took over territory, they are... Yeah, you see, right? They're, they, wow, they haven't even lost yet. Oh my god, we, they haven't lost any points yet. In another month or so, they're going to start losing points. That could be the sign fact if I hold on or not. As we're still fighting over there... Taking over that. <laughs> nice of you to lose that, Germany. Good job. I still can't believe the EU has not taken over Britain. I would have already done that. Oh my gosh. Alright, now we're going to re-get Afghanistan finally into our sphere. As they're still fighting off over there. Alright, now they're going to start losing points. Which they already are losing pretty badly right now. Alright, good. We got that territory taken over with. <laughs> Germany, Germany, Germany. Just give up. You're not beating me. I'm too good for you. You've lost every single time we've played this game. In this playthrough. Every single time you've lost against me. Why bother? Just give up and don't try again. I got almost 1.5 billion people, too. But yeah, I've lost, like, looks like 500,000... No, yeah, like, maybe 500,000 troops or so. They haven't really lost anything yet. Oh, my gosh. As we are all just fighting to the absolute death. Get that. I could peace out, but I don't know if I want to yet. I want to keep making Germany bleed for their suffering. If anything, maybe I can add reparations and do that. And if we're going to add that on for the hell of it. that as on pause there we go take care of that as continue on with this invasion let's do this man we're still taking severe ca um losses right there so far we've pretty much been killing their artillery but that's not helping us much I think I've lost over 100,000 troops. They haven't even lost really anything, which is annoying. Ah, we've been losing artillery too. Which is not good. Why is my point system going down so low? Come on. Yeah, now they're definitely not going to surrender without reparations. Well, they've gone down to 3 million troops, but we've gone down to 4 million. Hmm. Might be time soon to bring in some extra reinforcements. Put your ass over here. Now we got 5 million to 3 million. Hmm. 
Hopefully these extra troops will help out. Germany, give up and give me my reparations. Your dastardly attack is going to cost you. I do that. I seriously just don't get why they don't bother just giving up. And of course, once again, they banned me. Let me try and go over here towards Russia because remember, I noticed the last episode where I was over here more, the lag wasn't as bad. Since there's no... Of course, disappeared. Uh, No, I want to check on the battle. I want to watch the battle. Yeah, we'll stay over here right now. That will go fast. We can just keep an eye on the battle. But man, we're taking quite a bu bunch of casualties. Is still killing them. They're losing some artillery. They're actually losing quite a bit of artillery. And there's a there's that famous Abu Dhabi pop-up that's been annoying throughout the entire series. They still won't accept. Germany actually is on the verge of looking like possibly overtaking me. I might be able to survive. I have a big cushion, so I might be okay, but geez, they are really catching up. And I see Japan's a great power, too, as they should be. And they're still fascists. Wow. Alright. And of course, that disappeared. Man, if we just kill their um, artillery, we'd be in a much better place. Oh, are they willing to give up now? No, E, we're not giving you access. That's right. We'll accept peace. That's right. You better give me reparations, asshole. Don't ever attack me again. You understand me, Germany? We've been fighting for decades. And you still can't beat me. Don't try me. We're the third most powerful nation on Earth, but I'm competent enough to beat you, as I've done the entire series. I guess I could try and send people to the moon again. And, of course, once again. Ah! Still can't do it. Alright, we're going to start bringing troops back. Hopefully that'll be the last war of the episode of the episode in the series. Do that. And I think I'm just gonna just build the rest of these troops up. Like, look at all those troops I still gotta go through. Jeez. Look at they won't stop! So many of them in Europe and Asia look like, look at all these troops I can build up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I hold shift. There we go. Oh my god, I can build so many troops. Uh, I think it's like almost 3 million or like 2.4 million. And we got an election going on. whoop de doo I don't care. As we're just going to try and sit back and finish up this this series. Alright, go research this. Seven, almost 20 years in the past. Hey, here we are. 2018. Just two years left. Just want to get this series done and over with as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Germany, don't ever try that again. Just saying. Just know your place. Wait a minute. If I'm reading this correctly, I think it says I have 6,000 points. Okay, that's right. India did overtake me. But I was thinking Germany overtook me. Like, wait a minute. Shouldn't I be fourth place? But nope. I am third still. But yeah, my former vassal India. Now a great power stronger than me now. Which is pain and suffering. But yeah, I think... 
my UK gamer here right now is my highest scoring game ever. I'm on track to maybe hit 30,000 points, which I've never done before. But, dear God, look at America. They have more points than me and Germany combined. Hell, you might even have to add Italy in the mix and it still might just barely break it. 29, 24 sweats, 53, and that's 69. So it takes me, Germany, and Italy to fix it. Alright, as we're now into May, still got a year and a half left to go. And of course, the Liberals won again. It's game, stop pausing. All right, gonna do that. All right, do that. And then do this. Do that. And let's just keep building these troops because we got so many troops. I can't wait. This series is almost over, everyone. After over two years, I think I started this like in June of 2021 or so, and it's almost over finally. I can't wait. And then I'm going to put all my effort to finishing the Mughal Empire playthrough on um, Age of Enlightenment, and then I'm going to go back to doing one YouTube series at a time for this game, just like I've been doing EU4 lately. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to do for my first game, too. Alright. As the European Union, I see, took over Bre um, Brittany, as now they're fighting Norway in the Netherlands for some reason. I don't know what that's about, but hey, they're a great power. Oh, they took over all of France, so France doesn't exist anymore! Oh my gosh, France doesn't exist anymore. Oh wow, France is gone. <laughs> Poor France, they are just dead. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Wait. Doesn't that mean they maybe have some EU territory out here? Nope. No, Rhodesia, you're not going to get... Pe um, you're not going to be independent. I told you throughout this entire series, and of course, once again, we failed. Let's do that. Let's see. Now we got... Yep, we hit 1.5 billion people. Oh, Japan's about to attack Russia. Well, a little late to do that, Japan, because this series is almost over. We only got one more year left. And I doubt you're going to be able to do anything in that time. But, hey, good luck. That's all I can say, I guess. God, I can't wait. Just one more year and we're finally done with the series. That's been long overdue. Ah, I can't wait. Here we are. 2019. One more year, baby. The countdown begins. Oh, I can't wait to finally be over with this. As we're now into February. Alright, now we're going to research this tech. There we go. I was actually, I'm just looking up right now. I started this series back on June 23rd, 2021. Oh my god, another crisis. What's this about? From Japan. Alright, well I guess we'll keep an eye on this. India backs Japan. Germany backs Russia. Spain is so, leaning towards Russia. We'll wait and see. I'm just hoping this doesn't break out the war. Because if it does, this war most likely wouldn't end. I'm just going to wait on Spain. Hopefully they'll support one of the sides and they'll support the other and hopefully the war doesn't happen. As we're now into May, we're almost over. Almost there. Just a few more bumps. Oh my god, Spain? Are you going to support a side already? Oh, damn, this actually might... This um timer might not end in time for the game end, so this crisis might not even break out the war, but we'll see. Yeah. 
it's actually possible we might just be able to get out of this without war. Yep, there we go. White piece. Alright, nothing happened. Alright then, there we go. And we are almost done. As for being a naval power, we still have tech that's from 40 years ago almost we never researched. Oh my god, we have tech from the 80, I mean 80 years ago we haven't researched. Oh my gosh. Because I had to focus more on the army in this game. And we're not going to get that done in time unless it's right on the dot, but I don't think it's going to. We'll be lucky if it does. Oh, Brittany broke away from the European Union. I see the European integration is not going so well there, European Union. All those cores, you can't even do anything with them. Oof, ain't that a bitch. Alright, we're nearing the end. We're almost there. Just a few more weeks, people. Ugh, I can't wait. Finally... We're going to be almost over. Been looking for us for two years now. And it's almost over. I guess I can give it one more try. And of course, nothing. As always, try and hope for something good. Alright, we're going to start slowing down. So we don't overshoot it. Nope, nothing for you, Somalia. And there we go. Alright, guys. That is the end of my United Kingdom New Era mod playthrough. And what a game it was. France literally died. They lost their empire a hundred years ago. And now they're literally gone. They're now the European Union. Germany died. World War II happened like what? In the 20s or so? The Nazis fell out of power. And, and Germany kept harassing me when I took over this territory. Russia was a threat. And I had to break up so much of Europe to finally get them to back off. We colonized more of China. We had to fix the Romanian problem, which we finally did in the last episode, which is good. That was so dumb. And yeah. What a crazy game it was. 30,000 points. This is the highest scoring game I've ever had. Although I don't really count this really as an accomplishment. Since this is, after all, a mod where it ma massively inflates the score. Like, look at that. Everyone has a score of 10,000 or better. I've never seen this before. Free country with 24,000 po 20, points or more. Just while in America with 66,000 points. That is just insane. And I still have more troops, I mean, more pops than them, too. Absolutely incredible. So I'm not even the number one power in the world. America beats us by twice the amount. Their army is like almost three times bigger than me, which is crazy. But yeah, guys, it was still a fun game nonetheless. As time to go get the um, screenshots for the map to upload later on. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to um, go for all these stats really quickly so I can update my um, all-time score list on Word and show all this off, of course. All right, so there we go. And now to continue onward, as we're now into 2020, look at it one more final time because these are updated stats now. I should have probably saved beforehand, but I didn't think of it. So now it's too late. Unless. Yeah, I can't save because it's in the way. Alright. There we go. And with that, this game is over. I do like this, um... I do like this, um... Graphic where it's the country's flags are in squares instead of the circles like down here. This looks a lot better for me, at least. How, wow, Czechoslovakia became a great power. That is insane. That is wild. Wow, Romania fell to communism after the war. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this playthrough. Now to begin, try soon, to finish the Mughal Empire playthrough, and then we can begin a whole new series and all that. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed this series. See you all next time.